going to be discussing graph but for this chapter we will be discussing three types of graph which is displacement time velocity time and acceleration time graph and we will discuss from these three graph how we will get the displacement velocity and acceleration quantity before we go further let's recap a few things for graph how we want to determine the gradient of the graph from different shape of graph okay let's look at the first graph so the first one we have a car moving with constant velocity if this is velocity time graph okay so if you look at the y value you have the same value for y exists at any time t second let's say this is a velocity time graph if you interpret this graph this is constant velocity or uniform velocity because the velocity value is the same for at any time okay and if you find the gradient of the graph the gradient is equals to zero you take the y value divided by the t value you will get zero gradient so we will only discuss the shape and the gradient value okay next if you look at the second graph the graph shows that the value is increasing linearly at any time t at any time t the graph is increasing linearly how about the gradient value if you have this shape of graph increase linearly so the gradient will be constant what does it mean it means that if i find the gradient for the first part for the second part and for the third part they will get the same gradient so we can say that gradient for this shape of graph is uniform so the, the increasing linearly shaped graph will produce uniform positive gradient value okay for this one this is really important because you have constant negative value gradient as well so the bottom one over here this is uniform or constant gradient negative value the difference between the two graph uh, for this one and this one is for this one your value is decreasing linearly with time so if you find the value of gradient over here for one or two or third part you will get the same gradient value but you will get negative gradient value let's say i have velocity time graph for this one so you can say that the velocity of the car is decreasing linearly and the gradient of this graph will produce constant gradient value but negative value okay so let's go to the next shape of graph so for this graph you can say that this is not increasing linearly graph it increased by time like this it's a bit curvy from before so let's say i have this graph maybe velocity time graph so i can say that my velocity is increasing by time so what uh, what ha what happened to the gradient if you look at the gradient value the gradient is not the same for the first second and third part but we know that this part have lower gradient than this part means that your gradient value is increasing but in increase for positive value for this graph if you look at the shape of the graph and uh, the shape can be in positive position as well for this one it shows you like this for this one it shows you from the origin goes downwards it also can be like this okay so if you look at the gradient value for this graph the gradient keeps on increasing but the the direction is different for this one it increased like this but this one is increasing downwards like that so we can say that the gradient is increasing but will produce negative value okay so let's see, let's look at this one so this one the shape is like this so if you look at the gradient for this graph the gradient is decreasing but it's decreased 
in positive value it means that if you find the gradient for the first part and the third part they are still positive value but the value will be decreased okay last one you can see that like this okay you have this shape of graph so you can say that the first part is um will have more value compared to the third part but this one will give you gradient decreasing in negative value okay so try to look at again and try to summarize on your own words for the gradient for each shape of the graph.